Welcome to BDA Online Tutor. This is an online platform that deals with business data analytics. If you are watching this video on YouTube, I ask that you subscribe, you like, and uh, you ring on the notification bell. And uh, if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. And uh, also like the videos. And uh, we also offer online classes at a very affordable prices. And uh, we have various packages that you can enroll for. I think somewhere there you can see the packages with their respective prices. So you can lie us with me because also you can see my contacts on the screen somewhere. You can lie us with me and uh, I'll see. Isn't it? You look at the first topic, introduction to Z. So as usual, uh, for inquiries on online classes and uh, practical Excel files, you can WhatsApp me on this number. And also for this book, because you have created a very good book, a theoretical one, it covers all the theory. So we can start. You see this the business data analytics theory by BDO Online Tutor. Uh, the book is supposed to be published in 2024. This one is just a, a pre a pre one, isn't it? Okay, we shall uh, we shall start. So as you can see there, this is the introduction. Actually, as you've seen the timetable, not the timetable, the syllabus. Have you you've seen the syllabus? You can relate. So we'll just start direct away. So introduction to Excel, utilizing Excel keyboards, uh, keyboard shortcuts in Excel. Keyboard shortcuts in Excel can save a lot of time. Maybe you want to work more efficiently. So here are the very common one, the commonly used. We highlighted the commonly used. So when selecting a cell, for example, you want to select, let me say a column, then you press control space. If you want to select the entire row, it's shift space. The entire worksheet is control A. To select non adjacent cells, it's control plus. You click on the cell, on the cell itself. You press control, then you click on the cell itself with a, with a mouse. So we look at uh, other keyboards for copying and pasting. To copy is control C, and to paste is control V. And to paste with formatting or paste special is control alt v very important maybe sometimes you don't want to paste the whole thing maybe you want to paste only the format maybe you want to paste only the formula you can use control alt v to undo and redo to undo is control z to undo the redo to undo the redo is control y so we'll go to inserting and today we're just making something small the video will be just small because it's only the, the, the first topic. Also, inserting or deleting cells. So when you want to insert a, a, a column or a row, you press Control shift plus isn't it? So for example, you've selected the row first. You must have selected the row. The row is Control space bar. You select it, then you press Control shift plus to add. Also, to delete, you do Control minus. And to delete all the content on the cell, you just press on delete. We'll go to formatting. Bold, making the work bold is control B for italics, control I or alt H2. To apply an underline is control U. To display the format box is control 1. Maybe you want to change the format of the sales content. You press control 1. For navigations, we we'll go to navigations. Control page down and control page up to move from the previous to the next or the next to the previous, isn't it? To move the first cell to the worksheet is control home. To move to the first cell, control home. Then to the last cell is control end. These are just a few. There are very many. And I think the more you familiarize yourself with Excel, the more you find them and you get them to be very easy. So we'll go to conducting data analysis using data tables, pivot tables, and other common functions. I say the Excel is a very powerful tool in matters data analytics. There are very several features. So we'll talk about the table data tables. Data tables are useful for performing what if analysis. So what if analysis is the scenario or the sensitivity analysis. You will put that at the back of your mind as we go. You can use data tables to calculate multiple results based on different input values. To create a data table, you go to data, to the data tab that is under the ribbon. Then you select what if analysis, then data table. You can then input the values. 
and the form led to calculate the results. <laughs> we talk about also the pivot tables, and actually um, these things we have been we have covered them fully under practical. And uh, this just to tell you that uh, these notes we have them and they are very simplified and these topic by topic actually. Maybe you want to get them, you can lie us with me and you get the notes. So pivot tables are a powerful tool for summarizing and analyzing large data sets. To create a pivot table, just go to insert, then you'll see the pivot table at the top left. Then you select on the pivot table, then you drag the drop fields into rows, columns, and values. Actually, it's a very simple one. We'll talk about also the common functions. So the common function are the sum. This one is to add the sums of a range of a cell, the average to calculate the average count. This one is to count the number in the cells that contain numbers. Maximum is to find the maximum value in a range. Minimum to find the minimum value if test a condition and returns one value if the condition is true. And another value if the condition is full. This one, if it's a logical test, it's also a logical function. Then another thing is charts. Charts can be useful for visualizing your data. Excel offers several types of charts, include column, line chart, pie chart, and more. To create a chart, you just go to insert, then you select on the type you want. By using these features, you can uh, analyze your data more efficiently and gain valuable insight into a business or organization. We'll go to advanced formulas. Right, using advanced formulas and function to enhance the functionality of financial models. I say the Excel is very powerful in financial modeling, and uh, uses advanced formulas and function that can enhance the functionality. Here are some ways we have the summits, the averages, and counties. These functions allow you to sum, average, or count data based on multiple criteria. Because we also have the sum if, but you see this one has ifs. So if if results to multiple criteria. For example, you can use SAMIF to sum all the sales for a particular product in a specific region. So we also have index match. match index match. So if this index match can be used in uh, also in dashboards. Index match returns the value of a sale in a specified range based on its row and column numbers, while match returns the position of a value in a specified range. Together, they allow you to look up for the value in the table based on a certain criteria. So this one can be used also in uh, dashboards, as I've said. So we have the VLOOKUP and the HLOOKUP. And uh, if you are using a more advanced Excel, we have also the XLOOKUP. So these functions allow you to look up the value of a table based on the matching value of the first column of the row, respectively. So Excel goes from uh, left to right. So it can't count the one to the left. So you start from the first column and it goes respectively. VLOOKUP is commonly used to retrieve data from a master data set into another data set. So VLOOKUP is for vertical and HLOOKUP is for horizontal. And I used to have XLOOKUP. So XLOOKUP works all the way vertical and horizontal. If and if and or, if and or, there are three. So we have if, we have and and or, all these are formula. So these functions allow you to create con conditional formulas. For example, you can use if to assign a value to a cell based on whether a certain condition is true or false. PMT, this one is used for loan amortizations. Also, NPV and, NR, and IRR. I think you've come across those ones during your lower levels or by of CPA. Also, we have the choose function. So the choose function returns the value from a list of values based on a specific index number. It can be used to create dynamic drop-down list that change based on the user input. By utilizing, this, by utilizing these advanced functions and formulas, financial model can become more accurate and efficient, allowing for better analysis and decision making. So I, that was just a brief on uh, introduction, introduction to, to Excel. And uh, just to say that uh, these notes we have them, these notes we have them, and they are now very updated and they are very user friendly. They have been written in a language that is, is easily understandable. And uh, we, we have all the notes, we have the only notes. Even if you go down here, you come to introduction to data analytics, also we have them. 
we have the also for data life circle we like how the syllabus goes actually we have all the notes it's complete and updated we have also big data analytics we have uh, everything okay these notes are fully and updated and i uh, maybe if uh, you are trying to study this course and uh, you don't find the right place then BDA online tutor Kasne based somewhere you should consider because uh, we are leaving nothing out. And uh, I said, here we guarantee success. Here we guarantee success. So maybe if you want to get the notes, these notes, are, we have them and they are very full and uh, very comprehensive. And I think they have taken everything. They have, there's nothing left out. There's nothing, even the last topic of emerging issues in data analytics. We have also talked about it. So in case maybe you want to get these notes, liars with me, I'll leave my number in the description box down below and I can send the notes over. Uh, thank you. Today we just wanted to introduce the, the part and uh, we also have online classes. Actually, th this this video has been done for YouTube. And uh, online classes, we, also, we always go a little bit uh, deeper into into the context so that uh, our students actually grasp the content the context and the content very well so i said uh, my number is in the description box down below last with me via whatsapp and uh, i will send the notes over thank you for today and uh, also later in the evening today we'll be covering uh, three order matching that's under our cop co-applications of auditing so maybe if you want to join the classes we, we always give one time a one-time free class so if it's your first time and you want to experience how the class is you can also liaise with me and i'll give you a one-time class so that uh, you see how we teach and maybe you can consider joining us okay thank you